offer these flowers of faith at your holy feet. Everything I have, you have given to me. I dedicate it all to you. I have no love, nor do I know you. I don't even have the strength to worship you. But this mind of mine, this body of mine, every atom I dedicate to you. some way so abundant and yet so empty. Look here. Outside Papaji Gate was a very. <laughs> that way I used to wait out of front. Yeah. Yes. So it's, yeah, somebody used to come and check with Papaji if it's okay for these people to come in. And sometimes we wait out here. There's some little chai shops were across the road over there. And, uh, yes, there. So, no, like Papaji, normal day would be that you will wake up pretty early and around 6 we will go for a morning walk. Already breakfast, there will be quite a lot of people in the house. Maybe sometimes a small rest and then coming to Satsang Bhavan. After Satsang Bhavan lunch, many, many people. And then after lunch, he will take a little nap, he will take a nap. And so they will wait there for him to kind of like wake up. And at time when there were a lot of people, there will be like a lot of people waiting. And often they will all get in, sometimes a few will get in. There's always good things. Yeah. <laughs> when you get in or you don't get in, it's good for you. Yeah. Come, give somebody to come and say, okay, you can come, you, you, you. Come inside. Sometimes you don't get inside or something. Uh, it's good. Then after you go to the chai shop, you sit down for a while and you go home. It's not, not, I think it's very good. He was like you hugging and touching not so, you Sometimes, you know, just, uh, it's not, not predictable. Not predictable. He, uh, quite spontaneous. It could be anything. It could, it could be have anything. been a hug, a look, yeah. a slap, <laughs> <laughs> a stare. <laughs> I remember one time where I was telling them, I was inside, and um, so we, we all got served. Papa G's at the table eating. And, um, you know, I was a bit of a quick eater. So I finished eating. And, uh, I felt it was a good thing to get up and go and, you know, get up and watch the play to show, you know, I'm, I'm good, I'll watch this. And then someone, right, I don't remember who it was, but they just, uh, they just held my hand like this and say, let the master finish first. <laughs> then at that moment, I, it was so powerful the feeling, you know, I felt real big shame in a way inside. But, you know, it was so, I was so grateful, you know. 
like lessons like this come. You know? I teach you through other people, you know? <laughs> and uh, I never forgot this. You know? I said, yeah, you know, you think you are being good, but still, they're still, you will never be good enough in some way. You know, if you try to be, just, you just have to be empty, <laughs> and learn every, soak everything up, swallow him. But you cannot be good enough to impress him or something like that. बोले सदगुरु श्री पापा जी महाराज की रमन महर्षि की अरुणाचल शिवा की मुझी भैया की पापा जी पापा जी बुरा जी Mahadeva, you alone know, you alone see, we are one, we are one, we are one, we are one. All is one, all is one, Papaji, Buraji, Mahadeva, like the river flows to the Like the river flows to the sea, absorb me, Papa G. Papa Ji, Buddha Ji, Mahadeva, you alone know, so you alone see, we are one, we are one. We are one, we are one, all is one, all is one, Papa Ji, Buddha Ji, Mahadev. beings are gathered at your feet. I take my seat. We are eternally
once, somebody asked me some years ago, you know, they said, uh, how did your life change when your master died? Huh? I said, no, the master does not die. It is the mister that dies. The master, you know, that Sadhguru, he alone is a timeless, the unchanging, real inside everybody. If we don't know that, it's like his teachings hasn't flowered inside us. Not even teaching, but pointing. You know, pointing. This is Satsang Baba. I'm coming now. First time, can you imagine I came in here? But while I was sitting there, yes. there's a few people in here, no? And I went right here to this place. And I put my foot, I grabbed his, his foot, you know? Yes. I said, Papaji, I don't know what's happening, but whatever is about to happen, let me leave everything at your feet. Okay, okay, listen. And I just came and I sat back here. And then shortly after, you went out. And then after this, I went out and I saw the fax man there. I saw my name. That's how I found out about my son. And somehow I just just tell him I never came to work. Then I came in this room and I saw him. And I never came back in this room again. That was the only time I came here. I just came here to tell him this thing. Huh? Until now. <laughs> I never came back. He's probably sitting right there, exactly this place. When I came in, So here we are in, in this very room, this holy place. This is where I received a sword. Oh, what a job! And the most gracious job. But you don't feel it at the time, you know. You feel I, I felt I was, my whole world was turned upside down. I was completely just so destroyed in his presence, you know. In this room, this, this room. Who can speak like that? that here I, I died here. I was chopped here. But I can come to put my head at the Master's feet here. Time and time again. Shri Bhagavan Ramana for bringing me here to die and to live at your feet.
as long as one has ego in him i don't think he can succeed in any way even god cannot help so it was that after satsang i uh, came to before the master and uh, he uh, we he is just really uh, chopped out whatever was remaining inside me and i was so furious you know i just wanted to get away i wanted to leave lucknow and it was a very hot day and i started packing all my things to leave i was very sure i was leaving i would never see him again nor anybody else i was so upset and uh, i came i came here to this place by this tree here uh, because it was so hot in the day i came to sit and to cool off but this fire inside it was more hot than the one outside it was a very hot day and uh, i sat here for a while then after some maybe 15 20 minutes of sitting here i just it felt it was time to go it was time to go and i started to walk right along here suddenly phew, it was just like i don't know what happened it's like suddenly i fell off the edge of the world or something i don't know what happened but i could not find myself it's a very strange thing i could not find any reference for who i am as a person there was no history to me there was no time uh, everything just disappear and yet uh, i could see the traffic i could see i could see the trees and the people passing but it was just as though i stepped into some kind of vacuum or some vortex or strange feeling and uh, just i looked at my hands uh, I don't know why I looked but it was clear there was no one living inside them. And then suddenly this image this image I don't know if it's a image of Papaji was just filling everything it was like replacing everything I I know or perceive him became him. And uh, in in that moment I felt was my meeting him right here dreaming into me this toy as the play of the divine
don't even have the sensation I'm talking about. But I'm very happy to be here with you. And that Master's grace call you to be here also. All gratitude to Papaji, to Ramana Maharshi, whose grace permits us to come here, who lit this fire. Stirred this fire inside the hearts of those who came here, this holy place, in search of the freedom that he found. <laughs>